It's Wednesday. It is the 7th. No, it's not. It's the 6th of May, right? The 6th. Today is May 6th. It's Wednesday, middle of the week already. Oh, boy. The year is 2015, only if you're keeping up with that sort of thing. <laughs> and if you're not, it's another year. Anyway, hello. <laughs> this is Wayne Goldsboro Television, and I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, yeah. I hope you're doing well today. Well, today is indeed Wednesday, middle of the week. Yes, and how are you doing? I'm doing great. Woo, I'm telling you. Doing great. Busy, busy week. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, I just... Uh, I just, I'm still enjoying lunch from yesterday. I understand. You know? <laughs> I understand, yes. <laughs> I really, I can't. We're not a commercial TV station. <coughs> but I go to a, uh, uh, one of these uh, wagons. On, oh, do you? Uh, yeah, okay. on George Street. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I can't about. mention any names. Right. But on George Street, John. But it's mighty good, place, you know. isn't it? Oh, let me tell you, it is outstanding. Wow, is it ever so good? And I'm still enjoying it from yesterday. Yeah. You know, food trucks have really become so the norm Yes. in so many cities Yeah. where you can just pick it up, take it, and put, place it wherever you'd so like to on that particular week after you get a permit and all that's, that good that's stuff. That's right. you got to get a permit. That's right. Plant your truck. And there's one out on North Williams, it's Mac, and, uh, and uh, gosh, I forget the whole name. Anyway, I like them. I, I like did. food trucks. Uh, back when I... Uh, in another lifetime, uh, mm -hmm. growing up and working at a, at a job in Greensboro, uh, I worked in a, in a, uh, a factory uh -huh. uh, environment, a mill environment, and we had uh, a truck come by. It wasn't a factory, uh, but uh, we did have a truck, uh, but it was a, an industrial uh -huh. kind of job. And uh, everybody at 10 o'clock would take a break, and go out to the truck and get some food, get breakfast or whatever, and then at noon, you back come again? back, back again. And this food truck ran a regular route. Wow. You know? The biggest difference was that he didn't have an open side. You just walked through the truck. Really? And picked up what you wanted. Interesting. Yeah, it was, yeah. But my, how things have changed. You're yes. right. The food trucks have come uh, come back in full force. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for all of our events, whether it's Big Week or yeah. Taste of Wayne or whatever we're doing, uh, we have food trucks that come in there a part of that. And a yes. lot of the big events that are happening, especially downtown, Yes. more and more varieties of food trucks are being invited to come participate. That's right that have anything you can possibly imagine. In Mount Olive at the, the Pickle Festival. The Pickle Festival, also during uh, uh, the uh, Black mm -hmm. History Month. Oh yeah. And Black History Parade. Uh huh. There were, I mean, food trucks galore. I've never seen so many in That's one it. place. I mean, it was, and boy, they were all good. I'm sure, they I'm were. sure. <laughs> in Raleigh, they actually have a food truck fair. Yeah. Where it's a day you I've come out and there's that. nothing yeah, but nothing lots of full of food trucks. I love that's that. pretty interesting. Oh, that's my kind of, that's my kind of fair. <laughs> Woo. Do you have any birthdays today? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I thought you might. I do. Today being the whatever day we decided it was going to be. <laughs> yes. Day. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, today is the 6th of the month of May. Yes. Ah, Greg Henry. Greg Henry was on Scandal. He, hmm. uh, uh, he was, uh, he's Hollis. He was Carl on The Killing. He's Dr. Strauss on The Following. Okay. Greg Henry, born this day, 1952. Lynn Whitfield is Paula on Without a Trace. Okay. Like that show. Yeah. Uh, Tom Bergeron. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's uh, the host of Dancing with the Stars and yeah, America's Funny America's Video. America's Funny Video. Yeah, yeah, he is quite a talent. Funny guy too. Yeah, he is. Dry sense of humor. <laughs> uh, Roma Downey, bless her heart. Uh, Roma Downey, the uh, actress and producer. She did Touched by an Angel yep. and a bunch of other. Boy, stuff. I used to love that show years ago. I know that was a good show. Mm -hmm. She and her husband have done a lot of other things, too. Right. Um, George Clooney. Uh, Rosemary's nephew. Right. As I recall. Yes. And I've, he acts, does a little acting. You think he does yeah, a little? Just a little. Just anyway. a little. Almost everybody knows who George Clooney is. If you don't, what planet are you living on? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, Adrienne Palicki. Or Palicki. She's Bobby on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. Uh, Guberni Sidibe is uh, Precious on the TV show Precious. She was Andrea on the Big C, and she's on Empire. She is Becky on Empire, if you watch that program. Okay. And Emily Allen Lynn is, uh, as a child star, she was uh, Emma on All My Children, little girl. Okay. Emma, and she was a young Amanda on the TV show Revenge. And those are the birthdays oh, we have today. Oh, I love that today. show. Did you? Mm -hmm. You don't know it? I have not a clue. You don't know it. All right. Well, guess okay. what? It's time anyway to go to our interviews. We just got here. I know. So we'll be right back. Okay.
Today we're talking with Jessica Strickland of the Cooperative Extension Service. Jessica, it's that time of year. It is. It's uh, spring is in the air. Spring it all over the place. It's a wonderful time, uh -huh. and people are growing things. Yes, right? they and, are. And so yep. we're here to talk to our horticulture agent for Wayne mm -hmm. County about how we uh, boost our uh, plants' energy and increase the growth mm -hmm. and 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 get more out of what we're we're growing. Yes. Um, what do we do? Well, a lot of people, you know, look at fertilizers, saying, you Good know, do thing. I need fertilizing? Um, you know, how do I know how to go about it? And it's one of those you get into the store and you start looking. There's a lot of options oh, yeah. and a lot of choices. And how do I know I'm getting the right thing? Mm -hmm. How do I, you know, know which one I need and so forth? Um, you know, so there is some information wanted to share about, you know, how to better understand fertilizers. Okay. And, um. All right. She's going to bring something over here. All right. What do we have here? I have a sample of a bag. Uh, this one, it just simply says it has three numbers on there. It says 10, 10, 10. All right. And fertilizers uh, will have three numbers on there. They'll have three numbers with a dash in between, in between them. And those three numbers each represent three of the major uh, nutrients that are needed in plants and how and it gives you that's a percentage of how much of that nutrient is in that fertilizer so plants have to eat too yes all right do. in order to grow <laughs> and prosper and be be right. fruitful no pun mm -hmm. intended <laughs> anyway they, they for flowers and veggies and all that mm -hmm. we need to feed our plants that's right all right well now, what do these numbers stand for okay, what do well, they mean the first number is going to stand for nitrogen and what okay. nitrogen does is that's your leafy green growth so that's going to encourage a lot of green leaves okay. on your plant. All right, that's the green. Yes, and nitrogen doesn't stay in the soil long. It leaches out very fast, so usually you need to add fertilizer just to get some nitrogen in there okay. most of the time. Right. Uh, the middle number is phosphorus, or sometimes you see phosphate, uh -huh. uh, but it's phosphorus, and phosphorus uh, stays in the soil for a long time, so a lot of times we get soil tests back and we see a lot of people have a lot of phosphorus in their soil, mm -hmm. which is okay. It just means you, do, you don't need any more. Uh, but phosphorus helps with uh, root development, fruit and flower development, and so forth. Uh, okay. The last number is potassium, ah, and okay. potassium is helps with the overall plants, the health of the plant. Okay. Uh, it also helps with uh, winter hardiness, so that the plants ah. um, better survives through winter and cold temperatures. And so each of those three numbers does something different and sometimes depending on what you need and a lot of times we recommend a soil test that will tell you what your soil needs number one mm -hmm. get a soil test that's right we have the soil right. test information the kits here at the office people mm -hmm. can pick up it's free from april through november mm -hmm. and we send it to raleigh to the department of agriculture and they have a soil lab uh, that they test the soil and they'll send you back results saying you need this much phosphorus this much potassium okay. and that's the only true way you'll know what's in your soil okay so it, it is very helpful so nitrogen phosphorus, uh, phosphorus and potassium. Potash, potassium yeah and potash sometimes still okay. means potassium but same now, thing. It, to, we we would apply the potash or a heavier amount just before mm -hmm. we go into winter is that right uh for like lawn care yeah. you would yeah, for, lawn uh, care. for lawn care a lot of times you're looking at september to put something that is a okay. zero zero and then the lat has a uh, number at the end zero zero that, sixteen that's zero, only zero, potash or only potassium oh, okay and that does help lawns with um surviving the winter better and okay. helps with the winter hardiness uh, but to give a good example of... You don't have to do that. No, you, you don't yeah, have to do that. Yeah, you don't have to. Um, if you're but a real it, stickler about it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it is helpful with okay. lawn care. Okay, keep your um, lawn healthy. Yes, but a lot of people asked, well, I, how do I know which number to get? And I've got another example okay. of a bag that says ah. 4812. Okay. Which that one gives you a little more information saying it helps with azaleas, camellias, rhododendrons. But you can see the last number... Number 12 is focused more on your potash or potassium. Yeah. So that's, you know, higher in that where the nitrogen is lower. And in some cases, you might want something that is lower in nitrogen. Uh, sometimes we see with tomatoes, somebody will put out with tomatoes a fertilizer that's high in nitrogen. And that encourages a lot of leaves. And they say their tomatoes look great, but they're not getting any fruit. You know, uh -huh. not, e not getting any tomatoes. Okay. It might be that you got too much nitrogen and you need to cut back on the nitrogen and let your phosphorus and potassium do its work. So what we have here is nitrogen at a four. Mm -hmm. yes. And the uh, uh, potassium at the uh, phosphorus, uh, phosphorus mm -hmm. at, is an eight. Yes. Does that mean there's twice as much percentage-wise? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a percentage or a ratio. A percentage mm -hmm. or a ratio. So we have a 4, 8, 12. Yes. 
So there's then three times. Three times as the potassium as there is nitrogen. That's right. So this yes. is not going to focus mm -hmm. on green, although it's going mm -hmm. to help. It green, is, yeah. But it's not going to, that's not the strong mm -hmm. part of this particular. It, yeah, and where that case where it's talking about azaleas, camellias, or rhododendrons, that 12 for the potassium is helping focus on more a healthier plant, which it makes a stronger, healthier plant in the long run. And a lot of times trees and shrubs, you're not looking at getting a ton of green growth. Mm -hmm. You're looking at more at having a strong, healthy plant for many years. Okay. Where vegetables, you want a lot of green growth getting started, All and right. then you want to get more fruit, you know, what vegetables vegetables and flowering to get vegetables down the road. Okay, but now this is a percentage. Does that mean yes. uh, there's 4% of this bag is mm -hmm. nitrogen? That is. 4% of that bag is nitrogen, 8% is phosphorus, and 12% is potassium. Okay. And then the rest is uh, filler or things to help it spread better. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times these are, you know, pellets or granulars, and they're going to slowly release mm -hmm. into the soil. Okay, well, you certainly don't want 100% of anything in there. No, you won't find 100% of anything. So that means everything in this bag is 10% of each. Yes, you got 10% each, so 30% of that is the actual nutrients, uh -huh. and then you've got 70% 70%. of just filler things to help it spread and, you know, over time, okay, release so, slowly. So if, if the bag explains, let's say if I want to fertilize my lawn, mm -hmm. how do I figure that? Uh, we, when you're fertilizing your lawn, um, you know, again, it goes back first to the soil test to see what you're missing. Mm -hmm. uh, but then if you're looking at uh, just regular fertilizer uh, through the season, you want to always add some nitrogen. Of course, you know, nitrogen again goes back to the leaves right. and grass. Of course, you want leaves to grow. Right. So nitrogen is a focus with your lawn. Right. So you're looking at a lot of times they'll say for most any of the grasses, Bermuda, centipede and so forth, a pound of nitrogen per a thousand square feet. So okay. when you're looking for a pound, if you got a pound bag, but there's only 10%, that's so only 10% so of that So you're going to need pound. 10 bags. So you're going to need, that's right, you're going to need more. And so we have um, information to help with figuring that. Okay. Um, and it, so but is that, the, is that the ratio, about a pound for every thousand? Um, well, you're looking at a pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet, and that's true for most grasses. Used to, centipede was a little less. Yeah. Uh, used to, they said... Um, it was uh, a half a pound instead of a pound, and now right. they've changed it to a pound. Okay. But, and then, too, with lawns, you're looking at how often. Bermuda, you're looking at from maybe May through July. You could put it out every month or every other month. Really? And wow. centipede, you want one time about May, and that's it. Centipede Nothing just doesn't that. like a lot of nitrogen. Okay. And that's where, you know, we have a lot of information, whether it's lawn care, vegetables of when and how much do you need to fertilize because yeah. uh, it varies with every plant now, you know from blueberries to lawns it's going to vary and you have all kinds of uh, mm -hmm. information here yes we about do about that mm -hmm. right all, yes. all sorts of printed material that's right yeah okay. so we can we can provide that information as to yeah. you know when and how much when and how much yes all right very good mm -hmm. um Okay, a thousand. Okay, let's just take a thousand square a thousand uh, mm -hmm. square feet. Each thousand square feet will need a pound of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if I have ten thousand square feet of lawn, I'd uh -huh. need ten pounds. It could, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah so there, there is a little math with it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so if I have a hundred pound bag of ten, mm -hmm. ten, ten. Uh huh. I, then I empty the whole bag into my 10,000 square feet. So you're, you're feet. looking at that pound. Uh, okay. And a lot of times um, there is a calculation where you can take the first number and divide it by 100, mm -hmm. and that would help get the amount, correct amount in for okay, that. Okay, I'm going to go get my calculator and work on that, yeah. and I'll let you have the bag. <laughs> I'm, le letting, I'm leaving Jessica holding the bag. <laughs> all right. Well, all right, good information. And again, that telephone number is? Uh, the telephone number for the office is 919 731 one one five two zero uh-huh and then we have our master garner plant clinic they're open mondays and wednesdays 10 to 1 and the number is 919-731-1433 mondays and wednesdays 10 to 1 thank you jessica yes thank you all right mm -hmm. we are back on wayne goldsboro television on this wednesday the may of the sixth it is. You're having right? a hard time remembering I, what day it is today. I, well, you know, <laughs> it's you Wednesday, age, middle you know, of the week. They all run together after a while. <laughs> I you understand. Know, you understand. I do, I do. All right. You know, we've talked several times about the Center Street Jam starting up. Yeah. You know, there's a long schedule uh, all summer of when and where these bands will be, but they're yes. regional bands, many local, but certainly in the region. You know, 
If you don't know what Center Street Jam is, it's our summer music concert series that is held every other Thursday from 6 until 9 mm -hmm. in the parking lot behind the Irish Pub. What's the name of it again? <laughs> the Flying Shamrock. The Flying Shamrock. I can't remember <laughs> yeah, that for some reason. Pub. Okay, well, you know what day it is, and I know where to go. <laughs> Never mind. To have great food. <laughs> great food, yes. There you go. That they do. Yes, they do. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, and you know, that's something else. What's that? that a lot of cities have been doing over the last few years. A lot of cities have this type of event. On, uh, at some point during the week. They have a music event oh, yes, absolutely. in the downtown area, and they mm -hmm. all have different names for it, but right. we have one of the oldest and one of the best. For sure. We do. For sure. I mean, downtown Goldsboro Development, uh, they do an amazing job putting all this together every year. Mm -hmm. And they they've do. been doing this a long time. And it's and very successful. It's very, very family-oriented. Just very. a good time to come out and feel the spring and yeah. feel the energy that's in the air, because you that's certainly right. do when you're there. That's right. So don't let your spring get thrown. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and many people will leave the Center Street Jam and go downtown and eat at one of our many restaurants. There you go. And we're getting more and more every week. Uh, we just had one open, what, a few weeks ago yes. on uh, Walnut Street. That's another exactly one. right. Another one. That's right. That's in the old downtown deli. Mm -hmm. And now it's uh, Chef Herb. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Yep. Yeah, Chef Herb. That's a new one. There you but go. we have several restaurants downtown. Mm -hmm. I'm several. Uh, and they're all good. Yeah, I, I frequent many of them. Do you really? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I okay. do. Okay, <laughs> Wayne County, if you're a baseball fan, boy, have we got a deal for you. If you're a baseball fan, Wayne County is one of the most important parts of baseball history. You don't believe that? Ha, I can show you. All you have to do is to go to one of the one, two, three, four, five events going to be held in the uh, Wayne County Public Library, either on East Ash Street or at Steele Memorial in, Walt, in uh, Mount Olive. Right. Um, during the month of May. The next one is going to be May 6th, which is tomorrow. Yep. That's uh, to know tonight. It's tonight at 7 o'clock. May si Today's May 6th. I have a problem with that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? I we do. didn't establish that earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah. I need to write it down and have it right Would in front please, of me. Right? Each market, day I'll just right. mark what day thank it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Or have a calendar and X out what day it is. Stop. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. I'll leave you alone. Tonight, thank you. Tonight, May 6th, at 7 p.m., Wayne right. County Public Library. Listen to this now. You can learn about baseball history through rarely seen and one-of-a-kind artifacts. Some of these items include a 1945 letter written by a Fremont serviceman in a German prisoner of war camp. Now, why is that important? Besides the fact that it's a Wayne County right. gentleman who is in a prisoner of war camp in 1945, I talked to Marty Cheddar. He explained to me that they were in a German prisoner of war camp playing baseball. Really? He was playing baseball, this guy was, and he wrote home about it. Yeah. Wow. Wrote home about it. And he used to get, they used to let him read the sports page. Uh-huh. And his brother was an extremely well-known professional baseball star, and he had all the time, all the time be reading the stories about, in his the German prisoner of war camp, reading the sports page. About his brother. About his brother. In the States. Anyway, anyway, that's tonight. Go tonight. The letter's there uh, about uh, playing baseball in a German POW camp during World War II. Uh, also tonight, uh, uh, stories about chance encounters with Ted Williams. Mm -hmm. Ted Williams. Uh, also, uh, uh, New Hope's Bobby Wilson. Bobby Wilson from, uh, from New Hope, right here in Wayne County, uh, a, a major player in the minor leagues. Now, why he went on to the mate, did not go on to the majors, is an interesting story. He'll tell you all about the, it. He, huh? Well, somebody will. Uh, yep. You'll find out about it tonight at 7 o'clock at the Wayne County Public Library, and it is free. Perfect. 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 Well, Perfect. don't forget, this morning at 9 o'clock or 9.30ish, they're going to have the Mayor's Walk uh, out at in front of St. Paul United Methodist Church. At 9.30, they'll start with registration, and then at 10, they actually start the walk, and it's from 10 until 12. Love to have you be there. There'll be face painting and lots of other activities taking place. Also today... The American Cancer Society and the Jim Blanton Memorial Golf Tournament is taking place today at the Municipal Golf Course. From 12.30 until 6, it's a shotgun start. Entry fees are $50. Uh, dinner will be provided around 5.30 for all participants. Over $100,000 was raised last year at this event. My goodness. Wow. That's that, fantastic. That is so fantastic. lots happening today. All right. Guess what? What? It's time to go home. Already? Already. Time flies. Well, we'll be back tomorrow. Yes, we will. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's May 7th. Yes, <laughs> it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see you then. We'll be back tomorrow, so I hope you are where you are right now because we'll be right here 
on Wayne Goldsboro Television. And until then, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. And this is what's happening in your community.